Hey, welcome to day 14 of the Summer of Wonder road trips through the Rockies. This is a pretty epic day as I had to deal with a pretty large wildfire to get to my destination, which wasn't really scary, made for some epic views. And also ending up in the place, in the very view where I first fell in love with the idea of wonder. So welcome to the Tetons. We are waking up near Dubois, Wyoming and our beautiful little log cabin community to the smoke from Fish Creek Fire. It's a big one, it's spreading fast. It's not endangering anybody near the entrance to the Tetons, which is where we're going today. The way the wind's blowing, it's causing a lot of issues. So you can see it's kind of smoggy looking. It's very chilly outside though, it's only in the 40s. Here's our, here's our little cabin, just beneath these beautiful trees. It's just a cute little thing. There's a lot of them around here, but this one's ours. We had the best sleep. And have a great shower. It's great, this is an RV park and a lodge and gosh the this is the prettiest rv park that i can remember seeing so if they allow tents i think lex and i will come back and camp here beautiful morning on the wind river which runs right along the longhorn cabin area where we're staying what is it oh it's okay say hello here come here look he's nice fix this. Guys, I have a pretty great view for my, I'm working a little this morning. Lex and I haven't taken off yet on our day because we're only traveling about an hour and a half today. So pretty nice spot for us here on the deck to just hang out and enjoy the morning. All right, we're leaving the Longhorn Ranch. Just a beautiful day. Let's go to the Tetons. Let's check out the Rustic Pine Tavern and Bar. How cute is that? The Perch Coffee House right there. Dubois Drug Store. Old fashioned gig, that's so cool. All right, Noon Rock Pizza and Barbecue might be the ticket. Oh, we got barbecue back here. All right, we just might have to try the barbecue. Okay, well that was some of the best barbecue I've had in a very long time. We are off to Petit Tons. Okay, so I am driving north from Dubois towards Moran, which is the northeast end center entrance of the Tetons. And it's crazy because to the left of the road, the sky is beautiful and bright and clear. And if you can see, it's probably hard to tell, but it is so smoky up in those mountains. I've never seen anything like this before. Not a bad little spot to play in the water, except you can see all the wildfire smoke there. It's like pink and purple, it's funky over this gorgeous mountain. When Lexi and I left the campground, things got increasingly worse as we went, but we weren't in any danger and the fire is really several miles off from where we were and the road was still open. It has since been closed and I know that the fire's covering over 10,000 acres in the last few days. No danger to life as far as I know or property, but it was a, it was a pretty creepy experience, I have to say. We continued on up to the top of the mountain where you reach Togwoody Pass and then begin the descent into the Tetons. But of course I had to stop for a minute. Okay, standing here just beyond the pass on my way down into Maria Junction, one of my favorite places. I have loved this place since I was 12 years old and so happy to be back in the Tetons. It's pretty smoky, beautiful as always. This is really the first place that inspired wonder that I can remember as a child. So in my book, There's Wonder Around the Bend, I talk very specifically and vividly about the very first moment that I saw these mountains. And I really don't feel any differently about it now. It still is incredibly inspiring to me and just takes my breath away. 
we'll get a lot closer later today and tomorrow and you can see what it's all about up close. Okay, and just to give you some perspective, all I did was turn around and this is what it looks like behind me. Now it's not scary, it's way back there, but it, the colors are really something and it's a giant contrast to what's the other direction. Okay, okay Lex and I are officially in Grand Teton now and excited. It's taken me this long this year to get mine, but my America the Beautiful Pass, whoop, whoop. So I'm good for a year in all the places and this is the first one of a few on this trip, so yay. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else today. Lex is in her happy place. Be nice if she helped me put up the tent once in a while, but no go. So tonight, well, late this afternoon, I prayed for a tent because my tent pole rope inside the elastic one broke and it was a big mess. And I thought I was gonna be sleeping in the car. I didn't even freak out because there's no place to go to get get it fixed or anything, find a new part. So I fixed it. So how about that? I fixed it. I don't know if it's gonna hold past tonight, but for at least today, we have a tent to sleep in. So praise God for that. This is the good stuff. 7.30, getting ready to build a fire. Got a dog under the table. Leftover barbecue for dinner. Sitting here with a glass of wine and figuring out my route through Yellowstone in Montana. Tomorrow, looking over at Mount Moran through the trees on Jackson Lake with the sun setting. A good day. Max is enjoying an epic, well, I'm enjoying an epic view. Best. Hope you enjoyed day 14 of the Summer of Wonder. This is how it's ending for us here at our campsite on Jackson Lake in the Tetons. This is Mount Moran in the background. It's been a pretty epic day. So excited for tomorrow. We are headed north through Yellowstone into some pretty cool territory I've never seen before and that has been on my bucket list for a really long time. So, so come along for the ride.